he's cutting him off just a little bit. But, but that won't that that work. Cut lead. under him, Ronnie. Cut under him. <laughs> Come on, Coming up on lap traffic. This yep. is for the lead. Come Kansas on, Bay Rob. Come on. There's your first donut on Tony Stewart. You can see that 17 there fighting very, very hard. Kansas on the inside. Oh, he got the lap traffic's going to put him back. Grub on the low side. White, White flag. flag. In time, Tony Stewart over the stripe. Less than a lap to go into one. Boy, that's the thing. That lap traffic was the difference. Joe Gibbs taking a look. Stewart with a two-car length advantage down the back straightaway. The IRL champion, his 16th career most grand national start. Just joined this team a year ago. This could be his first win. Look at this. He gives him a little He's got it. He's there. got it. He's Jensen got it. To the He's going to get him. Stride. He's going to get him. Matt Jensen wins it. He got it. Straight away. He got it. Waiting to jump off and throw their fist up in the air because the checkered flag is in the air. Matt Kenseth has done. He is the winner. Matt Kenseth picks up his second victory in 1999. It's a flat track. So in the corners, it rolls away from that left front. It doesn't rub in the corner. It just rubs when he's on the straightaways with it. So if he can stay off of it as much as possible, uh, it'll help him. White flag lap is in the air right now as Matt Kenseth has one lap to go. What a run for Adam Petty, Dave Blaney, and Hank Parker Jr. all in the top ten on their very first visit ever to Nazareth Speedway. But the DeWalt Chevy has been the strongest here in the closing lap. And Matt Kenseth is going to pick up win number three of 1999 in the NASCAR Bush Grand National Series. He wins the first Union 200 at Nazareth. Five, four. To try to win this championship. White flag is out. Final lap. Clear room. Clear by four. And if he holds on a half a lap, he'll pick up 20 points on Earnhardt. All right, man, good job. There's the checker right there. They're side by side, back to the start finish line. White flag. Who wants it most? Nemechek on the bottom with Matt Kenseth. We know he can go three wide. Terry Labonte now has no choice but to be on the outside this time. He needs for the two car to get up there very close behind him as Nemechek is moving up. Nemechek oh. is in the tire tracks there, and he's actually pushing the the air there it looks to me like we're drawing away matt kenseth is moving out front this is it from here out nobody has any friends cambridge wisconsin's matt kenseth has the lead Nemechek side by side with labonte can he get there i think I right now matt kenseth has the edge right now as they come off side by side that gives him all the room in the world to work towards the flag Matt Kenseth wins the Napa 300. Will he make it two in a row in Southern California? Kenseth the leader, the Visine Chevrolet, Riser Enterprises. John and Robbie Riser own that car. Father and son have got to be cheering right now, knowing their driver is about four seconds away from victory. Here comes Jeff Burton, but it'll be too little, too late, and Matt Kenseth gets his second win the 2000 season. As Matt Kenseth takes the white flag, the final lap of the Coca-Cola 600 in search of his first Winston Cup win. Smooth right down to the bottom of the racetrack, exactly where he ran the lap before. Making Bobby Labonte is making a run at him, though, on this last lap. All Matt has to do now, though, is not make a mistake. Final set of quarters. Here he comes, Winston Cup win, number one in the Coca-Cola 600 for Wisconsin's Matt Kenseth. Neutral there, Matt Kenseth leading, Mark Martin closed in a little bit because they had to avoid uh, Nemechek getting in the corner there. They're nose to tail down the back straightaway. You rode with Joe Nemechek when the engine started fluttering and the fuel tank ran dry. He's led since lap 127 at 198. He's out of gas. Matt Kenseth is the new leader. Mark Martin is second. They'll come around to take the white flag. Final lap of the 300. Can Martin get up and put a challenge on Kenseth for the win? Boy, oh boy. That's why they call it racing. You never know what's going to happen. Listening to Kenseth's engine, seeing if it rumbles at all. He hit it four laps later than Nemechek. Matt Kenseth started on the pole. Left 
the first 56 laps. He came back to the lead with two laps to go. Checkered flag, second straight win in Bush Series competition for Wisconsin's Matt Kenseth. And back-to-back -back victories in the Bush Grand National Series here for Matt. He's got a little lead there, just doesn't want to make a mistake. Traffic well out in front of him as we begin the last lap. And here they come. Matt Kenseth gets his 12th career Bush Series victory. Flag in the air. Matt Kenseth for Jack Roush and Ford scores his second career Winston Cup win. Sterling Marlin, the runner up. Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart. Ricky Craven. Can't keep that speed off the corner. Gets back in it quick, but just can't carry the speed off. Hey, Van Damont, you know what you do. Oh, number checkers. 17, Five. coming Five. off of turn four. Checkered flag in the air. Six races, six different winners. Matt Kenseth beats Jeff Gordon by a second. Mark Martin is third, Ricky Rudd fourth. Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, the top five, then Marlin, Spencer, 24 cars right there too, boys. Well, look at the 10 on the apron. There is no out of bounds here. You can go through the grass if you need to, and he's going to complete the pass there. It's going to be tight. It's going to be close down in his corner. Yikes. He made the pass. Picked up two positions, but he hurt his momentum. Jeff Gordon's getting to run back on the on turn two. Gordon's flying. He comes up along the outside of Jarrett there. Yeah. Jarrett is there going after Newman. I believe he's got it, boys. He has those four fresh tires. He's going to take second position. I think going there, for the win. He's going to go to the outside. Where? Here he comes. Go to block. Here he comes. Kent is going to try to block him. Jarrett going for two in a row. Matt Kenseth leads it. Jarrett looks low. No. Kenseth to win it. Jarrett, Newman, Waltrip, side by side, Benson and Gordon. One more lap to go. Final lap at Richmond. Katie's watching. They've got a vacation home up in their native Wisconsin. They like to go there and get away from it all. If they go there tomorrow, they can celebrate win number four of 2002 in Mitt Kingsley. Matt will be the 13th different winner in 15 Winston Cup races here at Phoenix. The third Roush Racing driver to take a checkered flag in that group here. Mark Martin, Jeff Burton are the others. Kenseth will have led 55 of the 312 laps. The two-tire call of lap 259, the key to victory. Kenseth got away after the final restart and picks up his fifth win of 2002. It's not that one, by the way. No. <laughs> Nobody... This is what you call a Sunday afternoon drive for that 17 car. Matt Kenseth. Comes off turn number four and scores his seventh career Winston Cup victory. He had nine tenths of a second on Michael Waltrip last time by. Margin stays about the same. I do not want to go into turn one on the last lap with somebody underneath me. But that's what McMurray has to do. And look at Jason Keller in the 57 car. He's up there trying to get this position on the white flag lap. Five cars in that battle. Boy, Mill got back in the gas hard that time. I think he's going to, no, he didn't quite clear McMurray. And here comes help from behind. Jason Keller in the 57. They both going to clear Shane Mill. Shane Mill will go to the bottom of the racetrack. Remember, this is all a battle for sixth position. Matt Kenseth is going to be the seventh driver to win a Bush race in 2003. First, he was already an established Winston Cup star. Two to go, three cars that could win it. Kenseth. Boy, the nine got a great one off the two that time. He went up a little high, but he couldn't carry it all the way off. Had to get out of the throttle a tiny bit over there off the two. Look, back, Murray looks like he's going to go to the bottom this time. This is where he's That's been so good. That's where he should have been. I, I would have gone to the bottom sooner if I'd been him. Just, just like yesterday. The pass. White flag this time. One to go, boys. All right. Somebody's got to go different. Can't all go the same way. Kenseth went low in one. Here Changes comes. lanes. Here comes Kane on the outside. Just can't quite mad it right there off of turn two. McMurray almost hit the wall exiting two and drops back. Yeah, he lost the lock ground right there last time through three and four, though. Here they Kane come. Kane goes to the bottom. Kane comes to the bottom. It's he gets the run. He's got a good run on him. Side by side to the line. Kenseth. White flag this time. Matt Kenseth. 
final lap with a 4.3 second lead. This is a very similar scenario to what we saw here last year with the with Matt Kenseth. Latter part of the race, he just drove off and left everyone. The year before, Darrell, he won the most races of anyone, and everyone thought that Vegas would be his first of many wins, but it was his only win as Brian Vickers runs out of fuel on the back straightaway. Another lead lap car, Matt Kenseth. He's just going to ride him home behind these two lap cars. Matt Kenseth, the defending Nextel Cup champion, scores his ninth career victory. The field is frozen. They'll come around to the checkered flag. Yeah, the field is frozen right there. I would say the only question would be the fact if the double zero Jason Leffler was in front of Bobby Hamilton Jr. in the 25, that would be basically for fifth position. The eighth caution of the day is for a car that has stalled down at the inside of turn number two. We're told that is Clint Boyer. Team today, final circuit for Matt Kenseth. The NASCAR Nextel Cup Series champion from 2003 starts 31st tomorrow. That's not much of a problem generally for Matt. Would be his usual M.O. Kenseth took the lead at lap 151 of this race. And he's going to lead the rest of the way despite a strong challenge on a couple of late restarts to pick up his second win of 2004. Those cars. Now you'll see the five car close up on the back of the 17. Look at that thing go down straight away. Wow. Coming to the white flag. There's an opening there. Can he get on the bottom? Can he get to the bottom? Not quite. Casey Kane not a factor for now. This is where he's been better. Matt's been better in three and four. Here's where Bush has been better. One and two. Mm, just can't get there. One final set of quarters. Kansas protecting the bottom. Kyle Bush not able to get up and make a move. Matt Kenseth is going to hold on and score the win in the Allen 312. Burden all over him. A slower car, they got to pass. Carl Edwards up there. I know Kenseth didn't want to see this, but Carl gets out of the way. Their teammates, 17 and 99. White flag, last lap at Bristol. Half a mile to go. Boy, Burton threw it in there hard, didn't he? He's trying as hard as he possibly can to catch that 17 car, but he's not going to be able to do it. He's not. Matt Kenseth wins at Bristol. Casey Kane in the 9 definitely spun his tires. And Carl Edwards in the 99 pulled to the inside of him. Here goes the 48. He had a run on him. He did it. He timed it just right. He's looking to the outside, but he doesn't have the speed to do it. Here comes Casey Kane working on third place. Carl Edwards on the outside. They almost touch exiting two. Oh, he, he definitely blocked him, but I believe Kane's got the momentum going down into three. Carl's going to have to drive hard on the outside. Matt Kenseth has one win in the last 71 races. Trying to break through. He's got a big lead as they come to the white flag. One to go. White flag for you here. White flag. Here comes Carl Edwards in the 99 on the high side, trying to get that second spot away from Jimmy Johnson. Got 48. He got a heck of a run down here in three and four at the top, but he lost a little bit of ground that time off the two. You watch him down here in turn three, though. He's going to take it hard to the outside. The new tire cars racing up three wide in the middle of the pack as Matt Kenson comes off turn number four. Ahead of Jimmy Johnson and Kenseth wins the Auto Club 500. Now that cost McMurray a lot of his lead. It did, and that's opening the door again for that 17 to look underneath. McMurray only has about one more car out there in front of him. They'll be coming to three to go this time, but Jamie goes to the bottom, he tries to slide up in front of him. He's got to stay up high. Come on, Bob, tell him. Oh, he got loose off at two that time. Oh, side by nine. side, three to go. McMurray got loose off of four. He can, he can get him back, though, because he's so good if he'll run that line right there. But Kins is going to clear him coming off turn two. Jamie wants to fight back. But Kins is going to go up in front of him. 
Come on, but you can pedal back on the outside. Two to go this time by. And while these guys are doing it, here comes Harvick in the 29 back in the picture. Hey, uh, you want to talk about somebody in the picture? Look at the back of our picture right here in that Glows car. 48, Jimmy Johnson. You can see the leader. Where did he come from? We got three sets of teammates up there in the top six. Two Roush cars, two Childress cars, and two Hendrick cars. Two, four, six. And it'll be white flag over Matt Kenseth this time by. Well, it's a, it, it, Jamie may not win the race, but he gave it a, pilot, a, valiant, a valiant effort. And he'll sleep well tonight. Yes, he will. I Thank finally you. turned the corner. He made a statement today, yes, he hitting did. that whole race team. Good job. Kenseth's car was just too good. Matt Kenseth can make it off turn three and four. He's going to chop into that points leader, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it's a great, great, great job on the Matt's part. Way to go, Matt. Loose off four, but Matt <laughs> Kenseth wins the neighborhood for excellence 400. Meanwhile, Matt Kenseth flag this time, white flag. takes the Clear white flag here. last lap at Michigan. <laughs> Gordon is closed within eight tenths of a second. It does look a little like Chicago, doesn't it? I don't think you're now the same outcome as <laughs> Chicago, though. Yeah. We're by the end. This is a strong performance for Matt Kenseth and that Robbie Reiser led team. Second in the championship standings right now, just 58 points behind Jimmy Johnson. Matt started working on cars when he was 13 along with his dad. Started racing at 16. Already has won Nextel Cup championship, trying to get another, trying to make the chase for the championship. Matt Kenseth wins at Michigan. There's your leader, Matt Kenseth. Made that nifty pass on the outside of Harvick. And to turn four for the final time, a wild night at Bristol, and Matt Kenseth survives and takes the win. I'll tell you what, Bill, I think you said it at Michigan, and you're right. These guys, everybody's going to have to race the 17 car for the championship in the last 10 races. These guys are really on a roll right now. If you think that driver in that 17 is determined, that crew chief, Robbie Reiser, is just as determined. They were racing rivals. We've talked about it before. Racing rivals in Wisconsin. When Robbie needed a driver to replace a, his driver in the Bush Series, he went and called Matt Kenseth. Kenseth brought his helmet and his heart, climbed into Robbie's cars. And it's finally, he gets up underneath Jeff Gordon. 10 car, oh, and they're rubbing on each other. Because Jeff's going to lose two spots if he isn't careful, not only to the 10, but the 11 as well, Hamlin. Might lose more if they wrecked, working the last lap at Bristol. Wow, that was a good move on Scott Riggs' part. Did a really good job there. Here he goes. Matt Kenseth wins the oh, Sharpie 500. You drivers are sly. Marvick's already tapped the wall once trying to catch Kenseth. Off of four. One more time. White flag for Matt Kenseth. Oh, we got a car on a wall up in three and four. Looks like the 36 car, Fred Sherman. Still under green, though. This is the last lap of the race. And then he's off the track. He'll come back around, race to the checker. Kenseth in the three. Harvick trying to close in. Hamlin runs third. Off of four. Kenseth started on the pole, and Matt Kenseth takes his team to victory lane at Phoenix. White flag, last lap. Kenseth, then Edwards. Hamlin and Menard for third. Denny really trying to get it done. Matt's going to run into some lap traffic here on the final lap. Down the back. Oh, we got somebody spinning off the four. Caution is out. Caution is out. Caution, caution. Little front, front straight here. Jay Sauter, the 01 car. We're here home. That will be the checker. Yes, it will. Checkered yeah, flag awesome is out. Good job. Thanks, man. You got you. And Matt Kenseth has won at Homestead. White flag now this time by for Matt Kenseth, and the white is in the white air. White flag here, white flag. The 47 should go to the top. Kenseth trying to hang on, and Mears is really trying to close here on the final lap. A little smoke out of the backside of the 17 car. Yeah, we've seen that out of that 17 car all day. He's got a little bit of a tire rub. He's got a half a lap to go to get it done. 
Casey Mears has finished second here in 2004. Matt Kenseth was tied with a 16 car of Greg Biffle for three wins at California Speedway. He comes out of turn four and Matt Kenseth picks up his fourth career win. Look at that thing, Larry, eating that white line up, back in the gas, not pushing the nose, off she goes. She goes through the center, he's able to pick that throttle up and drive it straight clear off by the seven, point. no pressure here, clear by. Jack Roush has 12 victories at this racetrack, six in the Bush Series, four in Nextel Cup, and two in the trucks. Well, in just a few feet here, a few It'll yards be, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Matt Kenseth, second time in his career, he sweeps the weekend. Kenseth wins the Auto Club 500. Hello, clear low, white flag, here here, white flag. But Spotter's not excited, I sure as heck am. <laughs> well, Bob Jeffries never got very excited, but he's always done a great job, and uh, this is gonna be interesting right here. It'll be interesting to see as we get down to turn three and four with Matt go high and then give Denny that bottom groove. And does De Denny Hamlin have anything left for this last lap? Down the back stretch for the final time into turn three. Hamlin's gonna go low. Can he hold it down there? Kenseth, who's loving that high line. He won at Fontana, doubled up the next day. He's gonna do it again. He takes the win. Here Texas after spinning early in the race. Dominant performance by the Wisconsin driver in the final ride with Robbie Riser, his longtime friend and crew chief atop the box. Riser will bid farewell and become general manager at Roush Fenway. But what a way to go out as Kenseth comes out of turn four and Matt Kenseth will win the season finale. It looked like maybe the 29 car laid back just a little bit anticipating that start and those guys took off on it. Yeah. Yeah, Burton didn't want to be a part of that wreck. <laughs> Two laps to go. It'll be white flag this time by. Harvick was catching him. Does he have enough time? Really in the gas hard there. You can see Kevin Harvick gained just a little bit. But we heard him also talk about how good uh, the engine in that 17 car has been all day, too. White flag. You see the battle now for third position. Edwards making a move on the bottom inside of Burton. Harvick looked inside. Yeah. Kenseth gave him that for a little bit, but Matt's has seen, I think, from when he was racing uh, Jeff Burton for the lead earlier, that uh, he could go in there after he got a lap on the tires and really get off a turn two on that higher line. Final couple of turns. Kenseth trying to win for the first time in 19 races, and Matt Kenseth will come down and take the victory at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Here is your Here Daytona winner. 500 winner in the 51st running of the Great American Race, the 2009 champ, Matt Kenseth at a backup car, slipping through for the lead, and now the victory in the rain-shortened Daytona 500. One second, bring it home, bud. Wow. Two in a row, Larry. How about that? And uh, how about Drew Blick? The He'll Blick. still batting a thousand. The Blick. My new hero. We're by 12. Jeff Burton just ahead, a former teammate of Kansas. Come at Roush Racing. Time. I'm real impressed with the way these guys have gotten out of Matt's way. A couple of cars have just kind of stayed in the groove, but doesn't matter. He's going to get by. And here he comes. Matt Kenseth. Only the fourth driver in NASCAR history to win the Daytona 500 and the next race. Checkered flag, third California win for Kenseth. And across the start-finish line for the checkered flag for his 25th career win in this series, fifth all-time, Matt Kenseth. Kenseth, or Kenseth rather, Kenseth out front, Boyer all alone in second. I think there's some cars running out of gas here, Larry. I see the 24 slow down the back. He was one of the cars that was trying to stretch the fuel a lot more than Stewart. And Stewart's, Stewart's out. Stewart's Edwards out passes gas. him. Yep, Stewart's out of gas. But here comes Matt Kenseth. He's not out of gas. For Roush Fenway Racing. What a night for Kenseth. He will win the Samsung Mobile 500. Well, when Matt Kenseth ran his first Sprint Cup race right here at Dover, Mark Martin won it. Jimmy Fennick was the crew chief. Today, Jimmy Fennick's on the pit box for the winner of the FedEx 400 benefiting Autism Speaks. Matt Kenseth wins it. Two-time winner in the Sprint Cup Series already this year. Two-time nationwide winner at Charlotte. He's taking the white flag. He's on his last lap. Pretty good relief driver to be able to throw in when you need one, huh? think so. 
Jason Leffler, unscheduled stop for fuel. Last lap, must have run the tank dry. Well, the strategy is going to pay off. One try, one trophy this year for Matt Kenseth. Checkered flag in his first nationwide series start of the year. Matt Kenseth wins today at Charlotte. Last night, Kyle Busch lost the lead on a late restart to Roush Fenway Racing's Carl Edwards. Tonight, it was Matt Kenseth that got by Kyle Busch in the late going. Kyle will have to settle for second again. The Wisconsin driver, Matt Kenseth, scores a win in Charlotte, a huge momentum builder in his championship. Ford's at the front, a Toyota and Chevy in row two, green flag. And Biffle gets about a half a car length away from Danny Hamlin here and moves up to pick up his Ford teammate, Greg Biffle. Boy, that is a, that is a teammate right there, buddy. I mean, he jumped out there, got him. Dale Jr. had no help, but he locks on the back of Biffle, second and third. I don't think it'll do Dale Jr. any good because I don't think Biffle's going to go anywhere. If he's a team player like Kansas, then man, he'll sit right there. They've got a lap and a half to find out. Now, when they come off the turn four and Dale Jr. still pushing him, could be a whole different story. I'd say things might pick up. They're looking for the white flag this time. Once we get into this lap, if anything should happen down in turn one or two, or three or four, it's over. Pre-car breakaway. Junior tucked up tight under the bumper of Biffle. Kenseth leads to turn one, final lap. Danny Hamlin in the 11s there with no one to push him. Actually, he might actually be hurting those two cars in front of him if he gets back too far. But here we go. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty quick. We've seen where the timing of where you do it is so critical. And, and those two cars, the 16 and the 88, should be able to get by, but Kenseth, if Biffle elects to take the chance. Ford, Ford, Chevrolet off the final corner. Matt Kenseth trying to win it for the second time. Here comes Junior to the outside. Side by side with Kenseth. He runs out of time. where he really can haul, right, right there. Kane with a look, but lines up. Now Matt seems to be better on this end. Casey runs in here, he can't get down low in turns three and four. Kind of helps Matt get off of this corner with a head of steam. Again, we got lap cars up here. He's gonna get a little. 
Gonna get a little pull on the Casey. Carl Edwards, has taken, Carl Edwards has taken fifth from Jimmy Johnson. As here we go on the last lap. Three cars ahead. The first of which is Casey Mears. And they'll right, catch Mears touch. before the start finish down, line. Down, down, down. Back out, man. Back out, buddy. Bring it to the line here. Clear by three. Can you believe you're driving, holding off Casey Kane, okay, and you're telling the spotter what you need? Kane okay, looks to the inside. Light the candles. Happy birthday, Matt Kenseth. The same thing that happened at Vegas. Exactly. Ah, Kane got a good run up off high side that time. He didn't make He's going to get a lot of straightaway speed here. He's there this time. Hello? Brian Vickers down and out of the way. They may catch the next car before this one's over. Kane has the bottom. Sweeps up out of turn number four. White flag. White flag. In the air. One more lap. It is not over yet, though, boys. McMurray may not be a factor. He's probably far enough ahead as they roll turn number two. Okay, Larry, what happened that time is, is, is Matt moved up the hill, got a nice run off of turn two, opened up the, the distance between he and Kane. I think he can hold him off from here. That's Tony Stewart who pulls down to the inside, out of the way, not wanting to affect the outcome of this one. Kane coming on the bottom, sweeps up high. He's got a chance to dive down Here's low, checkers, but Matt Kenzo gets the third straight driver to win a Sprint Cup race from the pole. Clear sailing for our leader. He is just up here in a long gone, cruising to victory. And Gordon has backed off a bit from Hamlin, who catches the traffic. Yeah, I think Gordon really tried real hard in uh, turns one and two and lost a lot of time. Don't think he's going to be able to get Denny Hamlin in the 11. Out of turn four from Wisconsin, Matt Kenseth scores his 27th Sprint Cup Series win. And, uh, be ready, go. Now the 77 is off the three. That's going to hurt him right now. Hurt that chances. That three got 100,000 reasons to try to win this race. That dash for cash money. Elliott lost. Sadler in position for that 100,000 now. Sam Hornish gets up to fourth behind Sadler. Logano getting pushed out of traffic by Justin Allgaier. Left of the screen. Regan Smith there. Pushed by Kyle Busch. While out front, Kenseth and Busher have gotten away. Here they come to the white flag. A Hornis jumps out and leaves Sadler there. Hornis is trying to get over to Logano. He's there. I don't know if they've got enough time to get back there, though. We're going to have a huge run. We're on the last lap. Does something happen before they get to the finish? And who gets to the finish first? They've got about three quarters of a second to make up. They've got enough time. Theater. Yeah, it's just a matter of if this gets all the way back without the caution coming out. Not sure how likely that is here. A lot of contact in that pack. Oh! This there is behind everything. Brad Sweet gathers it back up. Three wide, but it's for third place. Kenseth and James Bush are well out in front as they come to turn four. A lot of pushing and shoving right here. His instructions for tactics on the last restart work. Matt Kenseth gets pushed to the victory at Daytona. And somehow they get through those final two laps without another major incident. Less than a lap to go for Matt Kenseth. First season driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. What a marriage between he and crew chief Jason Ratcliffe. Came out of the gate strong. Got their first win together at Las Vegas. And he's in line now for his first win in the bluegrass going to be his fourth victory of the year the checkered flag is out and it's being displayed for matt kenseth he's a winner today at kentucky casey kane will try for another lap or two here to make the pass but uh we're i would love to him to use the bumper then hey we're down to it it's seven to go when they get back finishing second to matt a couple of times in addition to the bumps bangs and spins Check the tape on the photo finish camera. <laughs> Might be needing it tonight at Bristol. Casey Kane, five, stalking Matt Kenseth, 20. There'll be five laps to go next time they cross the finish line. There are lap cars ahead. Five more, still 
I wish you. I think a lot of people never questioned the talent of Casey Kane. Some question, does he have the toughness in a situation like this to get the job done, move that driver out of the way? Got to make a and run. Slip. Not quite. He's trying to do it the way that every driver would like to make it happen. Running out of time, though. Three laps to go. Kane, the winner here in the March race earlier this year. Kenseth, the four-time winner this year. One more mile around Bristol. Might have just given up his chance there. He, he might get one more shot at his bumper here. You're going to take contact to make this pass. You're not just going to pass Kenseth. They come to the white flag. The last lap at Bristol. Kenseth and Kane, who wins it? He's there. Can he get to him? Not Final to him. corner. Here's the bump. No, nope, he missed it. Matt Kenseth is going to hang on and win the night race at Bristol. The number one seed entering the chase. Likeable, fun sense of humor, easy to talk to, but all business behind the wheel. Tonight, he'll wind up leading the most laps, and in an effort to start his championship off, will collect maximum points at Chicagoland. Checkered flag and the Geico 400 to, miss, to Mr. Matt Kenseth. That didn't use that line that time. One more set of corners. He tried. He Not going to be enough. Matt Kenseth is going to open the chase with two straight wins. Checkered flag at New Hampshire to Kenseth and Joe Gibbs Racing. Matt Kenseth's team made repeated pit stops to fix the front end of this car earlier in the race and get it tuned up, then worked the strategy to get him back out in front. It's going to work to get him their second win of this season while they fight for second behind him. Matt Kenseth wins at Kansas. did not get a good restart in the 31. No, and we saw that earlier tonight uh, with the with the 31. Didn't get a good race sight. Look, look, look who's running second. He Johnson. Shot out of a cannon, I mean, and he is going to be all over the back of Matt Kenseth as we come to the white flag. White flag, Brad, one more time. Better not slip. Johnson high. Here comes Gordon trying to close. Kenseth owns the racetrack. Double wide for fourth. Newman inside of Stenhouse. Matt Kenseth from the pole breaks the drought, wins Bristol. Two laps of racing to go for Kyle Busch if he can make it, but he does have a five second cushion on Martin Truex Jr. And Cole Perch telling Martin Truex Jr., you have 10 seconds back. 10 seconds back to Matt Kenseth. The 22 runs out of gas, and here you see more of pit road. The three of Austin Dillon, the 19's on pit road. There's a lot of guys short on fuel. We're here in the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. has run out of gas. He also slow on the track. Now, will the 18 be able to hang on? 
or has someone played that fuel conservation mode better? One lap to go. The white flag in the out. end of the I mean, 18s out. And he's very slow. He's trying to make it all the way around. He might be slowing way down just to let the guy behind him catch up because it's Matt Kenseth who was 16 seconds behind him. He has 15 seconds. He can push the clutch in, coast when he can. But Jeff, I don't see it accelerating off the corner. Out. I think he's completely out of fuel. He's out. He's shaking it, trying to get gas. The guy behind him, Matt Kenseth, could he's steal out. it. He's out. He's out. Yeah, stay on the track. You can't use the access road. You have to stay on the racetrack. If you use the access road, you've shortcut the corner. But here comes Matt Kenseth, the yellow car coming up behind him. Matt Kenseth could steal this one away, or he's got Brad Keselowski behind him that could take it as well if Matt Kenseth can't hang on. Kenseth takes the lead away. Al Bush will not make it back to the start-finish line. He will not make it. Matt Kenseth. Has a win already this year, has won twice at Pocono. Can he add to those numbers? Will he have enough fuel? Good job, buddy. Matt yeah. Kenseth is going to win at Pocono. He's not the type of driver you want to wake up before the no, playoffs, Rick. Last lap, the white lap has come out for Matt Kenseth. The last time we were talking about Matt Kenseth up front, it was based on fuel mileage. Today, it's been based on domination. Yeah, buddy, bring it home. Matt Kenseth down the backstretch after leading 145 laps, trying to lead his 146th lap. And the most important, as he works his way out of three and four, twice a winner at Michigan before, he makes it a third. Matt Kenseth will win in Michigan. White flag in the air. Kenseth out in front. He's led 351 laps already tonight. Down the back stretch he goes. This will be his second win at Richmond. Coming out of turn yeah, number four. Kinseth wins at Richmond. Oh, I can hear you. Ah, way to go, baby. Nice work. They needed a great finish. They're on pit road and they're losing spots. And as you mentioned, points as every car goes by them. Now the question is, will the car refire? How much fuel did it run out? You see him putting the fuel in, but it can't leave until it has fuel pressure. He's stalling, constantly stuck, wasting time. He does get it fired, though. Going to rejoin, but going to be at least a lap down. And the lap down cars start at 23rd. The 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. also on pit road. The white flag is in the air one more time around. 41 of Kurt Busch could be out of gas. Matt Kenseth coming through the turns one and two down the back stretch he goes Kenseth coming to pit road on lap 239 giving him enough fuel to go all the way to the checkered flag Matt Kenseth trying to punch his ticket to the second round of the chase Kenseth will win at New Hampshire you're not going to about wreck me. You're going to have to wreck me if you want this win. you got to remember, Kyle Larson's going for his first win in the Cup Series. This would be huge for him in his career. Slow Lap car. car. Yikes. Park. Whoa, up high, and Larson's got room underneath. He can get underneath him there. He just, just can't, can't clear him it. off the floor. Just Two to go. It. Two to go. He's going there to try, he, him. He's oh, try him on the he's outside. There. He's looking, he's looking, but he can't quite get there. Man. Come on. Come on, white flag. <laughs> and now Elliott is right back with them. Boy, Matt went way up high that turn. White flag in the air. Coming to one to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And they're each two car lengths apart. Something special is going to have to happen here off of turn two and through three and four. I think Matt Kenseth has got him enough breathing room. I don't think he can uh, get there now. And Matt's doing a well Left car job. out of the way. Don't Larson on Larson. the bottom. Here he comes. Kenseth rides the high groove all the way to the checkered flag. Matt Kenseth wins. Awesome That's over. race. Awesome race. Wasn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Wow. Wow. A very eventful day for the 20 team after a bad pit stop that relegated him back a few spots. One more lap to go. He's led his 37th lap. 
Matt Kenseth with a two second lead over Tony Stewart. Kenseth won here last year in the fall in one of the chase races. And now wants to go back to back in Loudoun. Matt Kenseth on cruise control as he comes out of turn number four. Kenseth will win again. Great nice job, battle. Man. Nice job. That's beautiful. Nice job, and, Harvick. and a fifth place finish for Greg Biffle.